Robin Solo from the organization Access Info Europe and here in part representing a coalition of 55 Spanish NGOs. Um, who've been campaigning for the last six years for an access to information law. Um, we haven't yet done, we haven't yet been able to do a formal response to the action plan because there hasn't yet been a public consultation. And it's interesting that that's a, a bit of a generic problem on this panel. Like maybe in the UK there was one, but for the other countries. Um, I'll come back to that point in a minute to make a more general point. Um, we definitely uh, welcome the, from what I've seen of the action plan, welcome particularly the inclusion of an access to information law for those of you who don't know, Spain is the only country with more than a million people in the European Union which still does not have an access to information or freedom of information law. So it's really high time we get it. Um, we're very, we have had a consultation on that. The, the government didn't mention that. But there has been a consultation on the draft access to information law. Um, and we're very much hoping that the government will take into account the, the feedback from that um, and also from international bodies like the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Um, on the, on the issue of public participation, and this is a point generally for the Spanish action plan where we'd like to see more public participation, better developed, more specific. But I think generally for the OGP, we've talked about standards for different things. And I think the one thing that the OGP is lacking, perhaps, is a standard for what constitutes a public consultation. It was very interesting to listen in the last panel from Central Europe. The Slovakians have been around the country on a kind of caravan, stopping in six different cities talking to people, using all different kinds of multimedia, social media, etc. So there are, there are different models for how we do this. And how, when can we say a government's had a consultation or not? What was very interesting, and also just to be aware how much interest and demand there is for greater government transparency in this day and age, in the information age. And I'll illustrate that with some numbers from Spain. The consultation on the draft access to information law, and I, I'm hoping you're not going to regret the large, massive input you've had. You've had 3,600 people contributing to that consultation. That's huge. Um, I guess, you know, that, that might make you reluctant to do another consultation in the future, but I very much hope it doesn't. I very much hope that you realize that um, this, is, this is what society wants. We ran an online petition on a VAS, and I just received this today, so I'm going to show it to you just for a little bit of a visual aid, 86,000, over 86,000 people in Spain signed a petition calling for a stronger access to information law. That's phenomenal. And I, I think that demonstrates quite how many people in any country are aware of the importance of open government and the need to make uh, access to information laws work and to make, um, uh, to, to put more information proactively onto data portals. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I got it today. I'm happy to, I'm happy to give it to you if you'd like a copy for your wall in your office. Um, but 86,000 people, that's phenomenal. Um, so I, that, I think that that's, that's really a concern for... Thanks very much. That's, oh, thank you. That's a concern for the Open Government Partnership. How, what, what do we mean by public consultation? Um, and how do we also... And, and, and the Spanish government has also said this in some of the other in, um, interventions. How do we ensure that it's not a one-off consultation, but that it's really something that um, continues over time? Because for me, a definition of open government is one that listens to the people. And we have to make that work. Thank you very much. Muy brevemente. Es una alusión directa, evidentemente. Yo, la verdad es que... Yo, la pregunta que me haría es cuánta gente hubiera podido firmar la iniciativa que ha preparado, que, ha, que nos ha explicado hoy Helen de Alvisaer, eh, hace unos meses cuando en España ni siquiera había un borrador de ley de transparencia. Yo creo que, insisto, en menos de 100 días o en, sí, en menos de 100 días hemos puesto en marcha una iniciativa que nuestro país necesitaba y es verdad que éramos el único país de la Unión Europea de más de un millón de habitantes que no tenía esa ley. Yo lo que sí que quiero decir es que hay, Helen nos plantea una cifra de 80.000, aproximadamente 86.000 personas. También son 80.000 las personas que han podido consultar o que han querido consultar la ley de transparencia en, nuestra, en nuestro trámite de información pública, que no es un trámite obligatorio, es un trámite voluntario por parte del Gobierno. Han sido más de 3.600 las personas que han querido aportar sus mejoras. Estamos estudiando todas y cada una de ellas las aportaciones. Ya puedo anunciar que el borrador de la ley del Gobierno ya no, es la, ya no va a ser el laborador de la ley del Gobierno, porque 
esas mejoras de los ciudadanos, muchas de ellas van a ser incluidas, como no puede ser de, de otra manera, son absolutamente razonables y, por lo tanto, vamos a escuchar a los ciudadanos como no puede ser de otra forma. Ese es escuchar y eso es un Gobierno abierto. Pero es que, además, ahora iremos a un segundo trámite, al parlamentario, donde los diputados, que son los representantes del conjunto de la sociedad española, van también a aportar y a mejorar esa norma. Luego, yo creo que estamos haciendo una, una apertura de nuestro Gobierno en diferentes vías y en diferentes momentos que creo que es bueno para, para la sociedad. Yo estoy absolutamente convencido de que una ley que ven... 80.000 personas, que son las que han estado viendo estos días, es una ley mucho mejor que aquella que solo ven 15 ministros o 25 secretarios de Estado o sencillamente 350 diputados. Por lo tanto, este tipo de iniciativas yo creo que son buenas y, evidentemente, seguiremos trabajando en esa línea. De todas maneras, yo lo que sí que voy a poner en mi despacho, eso sí que se lo, se lo creo, no es, no, 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 no es ese cartel, sino son las aportaciones de los 3.600 españoles o ciudadanos de otros países que han querido aportar con su ayuda una ley que cada vez es más del conjunto de los ciudadanos. Muchas gracias.